So it is Mother's Day and I am out in the greenhouse picking strawberries for my wife's Mother's Day breakfast. I'll be fixing her French toast made from homemade bread that she's made and putting some organic peanut butter on it and some fresh strawberries and a little bit, bit of drizzle of maple syrup and she's looking forward to that after she gets out of her nice soaking herb bath in the bathtub. So happy Mother's Day to all women throughout the world. Now the purpose of this video is to talk about these guys and as I'm picking strawberries I'm finding a little tiny baby sow bugs and so someone asked me does diatomaceous earth work on sow bugs I just wanted to show you the experiment that I do when I'm testing different ways to control destructive pests now I believe that diatomaceous earth is a good application for sow bugs but what I do to verify the theory is I take a little bit of diatomaceous earth and I put it in, in a container here and I just drop some sow bugs into it and then tomorrow I'll take a look at them and see how they're doing if they're all dried up like what happened with the grasshoppers that I did the same experiment with so I will pause this video and we'll wait till tomorrow and see how these little sow bugs are, go are doing now I think the application of diatomaceous earth that she applied a couple weeks ago has really done a good job because all I can see are these very very small baby sow bugs. So we applied the diatomaceous earth because of the grasshoppers but I think it really kicked back the natural growth of the sow bugs in the garden and so that's why we only have little baby ones here. I've seen much much larger ones in the past as I've gone through different gardens. While we're waiting for the results of the sow bugs and the diatomaceous earth, I just want to show you while we're in the strawberries here, how we grow our strawberries. Of course we're using the 18 inch wide grow boxes with 15 inches in growing space in the center. We've got a watering pipe in the center and we've got the plants growing right up next to the edge, about two inches away from the edge here. And you'll see in here that we have the strawberries laid up on top of the watering pipe and that we've got them dangling over the side of the box. And that's why I love growing strawberries in these 18 inch, inch wide boxes because it allows us to keep them out of the water. So the automatic watering system does a great job in watering the strawberries. But if the strawberries lay down on the wet soil, they're gonna rot. And so we get a few of these on occasion, but not very many because we do have the strawberries hanging over the edge of the box and there they can grow to full size and maturity and deliciousness and they're just really easy to pick easy to see and they're just a, a delight to grow so very easy to grow and to keep healthy by dangling them over the box or over the watering pipe in the 18 inch wide box typically as I go through and pick strawberries you'll find old leaves that aren't getting light or just have, just too old and need to be taken out of the garden we'll just snip those out and put them in the walkway and clean them up as we wrap up for the day I've also learned that if I have a nice ripe strawberry if I grab it by the shoulder just give it a nice nudge that you see the stem and everything that stays in there and then I have a clean strawberry that I don't have to cut out the the whatever part that is and I can just pop it in my mouth and eat it or it's ready to be washed off and enjoyed later just a tip on a great way to pick strawberries it's also a good way to know whether the strawberry is ripe or not well it didn't take 24 hours it took less than 12 hours actually and I got nothing but a bunch of dead bugs in here let's just sprinkle them out and there they are as dead as doorknobs and so if you have sow bugs, a really easy and effective way to get rid of them is with diatomaceous earth. Make sure you get the food grade diatomaceous earth that you get at feed stores, not the diatomaceous earth that are in swimming pools. And you'll get great results 
you can be pest free from these little sow bugs and you can enjoy the strawberries instead of letting them eat them. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you use diatomaceous earth on any hard-shelled insect, you can get rid of them cheaply, easily, and effectively.